first item that's coming out the box is Batwing. Now, this Batwing is the David and John way. I know I butchered that name completely, but this was the Batman of Africa, basically. This suit. But, on the back is Lucius Fox. We're gonna let that go, McFarlane. You know, you always a Lucius Fox Batwing. But this Batwing is sick because I actually have issue one of this Batwing. And I can't wait to put this Batwing figure on a stand next to that issue number one of Batwing. So stay tuned for that coming soon, way down the line when I start decorating. So, but as we know, when I unbox, I also love the art that's on the back of the boxes because I'm going to make a collage out of it. So nothing to the best of my ability gets wasted. So good old Barry box cutter helps us out. And now we can take Batwing out the box. First and foremost, I love this figure because this figure is incredibly accurate. Smarter, not harder. I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. If you're just struggling, you need to get a pair of scissors to handle your light work. And now we have our bat wing. Now, the cool thing I like about this figure is the wings. The one thing that I wish it came with, because Blackwing is a figure that stands. I mean, it has flight, because it's a suit. And you literally have the effect for a jetpack. Wish it would have came with a flight stand. If it came with a flight stand, that would have been awesome. But... You can always get a flight stand. You know I'm a stand person. So if I have a stand that fits, I have it. And as you can see, it has the effect of him flying. So you can put him in flying poses. He has a toe articulation so that you can have him in flying poses. His head moves. Does not have hands, which is a letdown. But Alternate hands. He has hands. <laughs> he doesn't have hands. He doesn't have alternate hands, but he has flight features, but he comes with a stand. So, go figure that. So, I do have some flight stands that I have to test out that I got off the Timu. Timu, Timu. We saw the Super Bowl commercial. So, I gotta figure out how to properly pronounce it. But I do have flight effects that it comes with. So flight effects are awesome. But yet again, it doesn't have a stand, which is curious. I'm curious, uh, but it's life in a big city. figure is very sturdy, very solid and built, and you can have them do flight poses as the one piece falls out, but got it in. So you can have them do flight poses, just have to have a stand. I wonder if I have one of my stands. I'll have to do that at another time, but sick figure. I love it. And with the blast effects for him flying. Only thing missing is the flight stand so that he can literally be flying. But simple adjustment. You can make him, you can have him, you can have your figure flying. So this is Batwing. He's out the box. 
Now, the one thing that we always do is see if the art is good enough to go in my collage. Now, with Carlin, you know it comes with the peg. And I like these little backdrops. These backdrops are pretty cool. So I might keep it for that. I'm not certain. Don't beat me up over there. Let's see if they who they who this is. Oh, it is David. Yes. So this is David. Awesome. It's not Luke Fox. So correction. So he was the Batman of Africa, and I actually have his comic, which I'm going to put him next to when I get my comics out of storage. And then you'll see that Batwing next to it. But this peg, this stand will be used for something else because I'm going to use my flight stand for Batwing. So let's see, is this art worthy? Is this art worthy? I think so. Perfect cut, no. But I'm gonna get enough so that I can use it. out the box. Let's see who's next. I have a bunch of contenders. So if I go Batman, I guess it's just expected for me to go Superman, right? As CM Punk will say, stop me if I'm telling lies. So we have Batwing. I put him on a stand for now so he can stand up and can look at the people. But mm, I like him in the flight pose. Too bad you can't see him now, but he's going for a landing. Let's see. So, sticking a flight. Oh, I said if I'm going to go, since I went Batman first, I didn't go main Batman. I went Batman Ally, Batman Family. Let's go the same path. Not exactly Superman. But Superman ally, Superman family. Let's go Superman, Superboy Prime. Now, I can tell you right now, this one isn't getting collected because it's just a figure. If I had art on the back, it would get collected. So pretty much, Superboy Prime is going to be freed out the box. But that's about it. So this is going to be a quick one. comes from the wave that had Etrigan, Batman, King Shazam. I have a couple figures from this wave, so this will actually be pretty cool. And I'll be opening up this wave. So this box is different. This one is a lot easier. So let's take a, let's take a look at them. Trusty scissors. Here, scissors, scissors, scissors. Free Superboy Prime out the box. So pretty much it's only strapped around the waist, which is awesome. His tape had him. His cape had him in most of the time. Now Superboy Prime comes with a flight stand. Go figure. A flying character with a flight stand. It only makes sense, but hey. What am I to say? Now, this is a guy who I actually wouldn't make fly. I would actually let him stand. So let's take a look at Superboy Prime. We all know the story of Superboy Prime. Basically, a Superman clone who went back. 
crazy. But I love the figure. I love the piping. I love the armor. I love the you talking to me face. So boy prime is pretty sick. And we also have the card. But I'm gonna take Batwing's stand. Hopefully it fits on it. Cool. I'm just gonna swap it out. Oh, he's standing on his own, so that's even better. So I'm gonna take Superman's. I'm gonna take Batwing's stand <laughs> and put him on Superboy Prime. And then I'm gonna take Superboy Prime's flight stand and put it on Batwing. But the card, which is what I love. Details on the box talk about the 22 points of articulation. There's nothing to go wrong with. But, flight stand. Love these flight stands. This is actually my first flight, my first DC flight stand. So, pretty excited. I'm probably gonna mess it up the first time I try to put it together. And people in the comments say, no, do it this way. No, do it that way. So, I'll have to figure this bad boy out. It's probably self explanatory. It's probably just a slide in. It's like a slide in. There it is. Boom. So, easy a caveman could do it. Shout out to the guy, go caveman. All right. And here it is. Boom, here's a flight stand now. I can take that flight stand. Here's one effect come didn't stand. So that's probably why I didn't get my flight stand. But I have Batwing flying. And Superboy Prime. Standing there looking super. Alright, now let's put his let's put the peg, put him on the peg. Perfect. Boom bit. And now I have two that are out the box. So let's see, I went Superman, I went Batman. What is something else that I could go out the box with? You know what? I'm going to stay with the reign of Superman. You go Superman variant. No. I'm going to go Big Man Majama. And the Big Man Majama I'm going to go with the Super Size Adam Smasher. Now, if you've seen this video, this was one of my top 10 lists that I got. I actually saw two videos with this guy. One, I went peg hunting, and he was a super peg. This guy was in sort of liquidators in my area, and he was living. So I had to free him. Also, he was also one of my top 10 purchases that I got from Half Off Store. And although this guy was a super peg, he got art that I'm keeping. I like that picture. So let's free Super Size Adam Smasher. Whoa. I was supposed to give me some problems. Eh, no, yeah. Life is good. So, as they say, he's a big, beefy character. So, I'm excited about this figure. You know, this figure, like I said, he's sad. But it's pretty cool. So, last free Adam Smasher. Snip, snip, snip. Another snip. Was the Black Adam movie that great? I don't know. You tell me what you think about it. 
Some think it was complete and total hot garbage. Some liked it. I'm in the middle. It had parts. I liked Cyclone. The CJ for Cyclone. I like Cyclone. I even liked Hawkman. And I liked Dr. Fate. I think Dr. Fate was probably the best part of the movie. So, what was your opinion? Let me know in the comments. Now, Adam Smasher is a big, beefy boy. Big, beefy. He's just like what he's advertised as, supersized. One thing I love about these things, you got to bring them in. Cause they don't come loose. They come stiff. The Adam Smasher, just like he can smash some abs. It'll come... Nothing else. And Adam Smasher just smashed himself. His arm just broke off. Are you kidding me? Now we see why he sat at half off store for millennia. So Adam Smasher won't be moving at all. Because his he's he's a stiffer. He's a stiff guy. Can his leg move just to keep him from moving? Wow, no wonder he ended up at the half off store. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so his arm broke off, but I put it back on. I won't touch his arm ever again. <laughs> but here's Adam Smasher. So Adam Smasher probably should have stayed in the box. But Adam Smasher's out, even though I smashed Adam Smasher's arm. But Adam Smasher's out the box. So. We went Batman, we went Superman, we went DCEU. Let's see, I want to talk, I want to look at one of the ones, this one of the hot ones is out. Let's look at the man, and oh, also, he has the art that I want. But after that arm breaking, I don't know, I'm contemplating. It's like, I'm going to take his arm. I'm going to take, take his arm, yeah, I did take his arm. But I'm also going to cut this, I'm going to cut this at a later time, but I'm going to add this art to my collage so Adam Smasher is now officially out the box all right now our last entrant this is actually funny so he's not my last entrant this is just funny I want to share this so I like the Batman movie I do I think I like it a little too much because I inadvertently bought two Bruce Wayne masks didn't plan on doing that had no intention of Buying one, I got it for $5. Didn't plan on buying two. So, that was interesting. And if I could, I would, but I can't, so I won't. I would love to take him back to the store. But, my last one that I'm going to do, I think I'm a Red Tornado. Say Red Tornado out the box. Red Tornado is something that everyone is hot for right now. It's actually, it's a, actually a pretty awesome figure. So it's justified in the hotness. And I actually got it. This is one of the last figures I, like falling figures I bought before Todd lost his mind and started trying to charge us $30 for figures that were, he was charging us 20 or 25 for previously. So unfortunately there are gonna be some McFarlane figures that I'm not even gonna look at. Until they're on liquidation. And most definitely this art is coming with me. Let's take a look at Red Tornado. Hopefully I don't destroy the part I don't want to destroy. This is a gold label from Target. And the one thing cool about this, he doesn't have a flight stand, but he already comes. It comes in a tornado effect, and I heard that it was the same effect that they use for the Cyclone figure, which is awesome because I actually went to purchase the Cyclone figure, and I saw the Cyclone figure on Amazon, I think, for a pretty decent price. So, so Cyclone will be coming home to stay with Fleazy Manor. Let's see, let's free old red tornado. Ah. 
is Superman. This is Superman Prime. Uh, oh, he has the wrist. Awesome. Man, it's a, that's, that's, that's wrapping him up in ways that no one will see coming and will drive him crazy at the same time. I'm looking at an awesome pose right now, just trying to get him out. If I could tilt the head up, that would be an awesome pose. But Red Tornado is an awesome Justice League character. A robot built by T.O. Morrow. If you know who he is. But if you read DC, you know who T.O. Morrow is. So I'm not going to be here like that. It's T.O. Morrow. He's so awesome. Please, ain't that type of guy. If you read it, great. If you haven't read it, I encourage you to. But Red Tornado is officially out the box. And he comes with his own tornado effect in his stand, which is too cool. Too cool. Just have to put him back on his peg. And he stands perfectly. Or if you don't want to use the tornado stand, you don't have to. But here you are. So, take a look at Batwing. Get a little swap. Use that flight stand for Batwing because he's actually flying. Also, Superboy Prime came out. Well, we also have Adam Smasher, whose arm was smashed. And Red Tornado. So, this is another episode in my series about the box. This is Fleazy. Thank you so much for subscribing. We're up in the 70s now. I When I started this, I mean, I just did it. This is all for fun. This is all for passion. And I just appreciate everything. And i like to take this time to thank everyone for the birthday wishes that I received. This was my past birthday. And I just want to thank everybody. And this is Fleazy. I'm out. Bye.